So, peeps, another day in another video. Now, I've put these up. These are absolutely shocking, these SY cables made off. So, I thought, I've ripped into them. I've got to put the real deal up. So, I put a quick video together of how to make off SY cables. So, as you can see, you've got your braid on the outside. You can't use this braid in a C as your CP. It's really there for, like, electronic noise. So, like, say you've got a low voltage, you want to screen it if you've got it in a panel or any, anything like that, and you can earth it. So what we've got here is it does look like a SWA gland, but there's a slight difference. You've got the slot down the side. And you, what you're going to do is you're going to first take the outer sheathing off. Then you're going to start picking the uh, braiding down. Because what you want is you want to get it in two even parts, about 180 degrees apart from each other. Now you will not see a maintenance engineer move this quick. Let me tell you that. As you can see, doing small parts at a time, because if you try and do a big lump at once, it's just going to tangle up and you get a nasty mess. When you're twisting them off, you want to get them as tight as possible. Let them sausage fingers go. You've got CPC in the middle, because even if you didn't have a CPC, you wouldn't be able to use this, is you? purely there for earthing and noise cancellation. So now I've got them at 180 degrees, nice and twisted. I'm gonna bring up the gland to it. Making sure that they're at right at the bottom. I should have put the first washer on, but no one's perfect. So what we want to do is twist it so it goes towards with the thread. So when you're putting that locking nut down, you're just making your life easier. So you're not going to be fine against it. Because what you got to do is when you get that locking nut in, you want to make sure it gets tight in there. So you've got no braids sticking out. Nice clean fit. So when you cut them, I bring them round. You want them just to be off from each other. They don't need to be touching, because they're touching the gland. And we've got the second gland coming down. So I will be using a terminal screwdriver. You can use the back of your knife. You could use whatever you need, what you got to hand. But you want to make sure that them braids are well and truly in there. Now I've just got this single back box because it was just easy and it's what we had. <laughs> so we've got our lock nut going on now. You want to make sure everything's nice and tight and you just want to keep getting them braids and pushing them back straight to the back of the gland itself. Keep checking them braids. Now I'm using, I know I'm using the grips backwards. So before anybody uh, jumps on the bandwagon, Checking them braids, locking up. And there you go, nice and tight. You only really got to do one side. You could make off both ends of the cable, but as long as you got one end earth down. No, you only need to nip that up. That's not going to stop any water ingress. It's not IP rated. It's just like a moisture kind of. Then you've got your cover boot. And that's the cable made off. Now that's how it should be. The next one coming up is real world. And I'd rather people see how to do it nicely. Now if you're in a fa factory environment, you're going to be using this everywhere. And this is a quick, easy way. Nice and clean. Keeping the braid together. So I've taken the outer sheath off. Now there's a little trick to this. You don't have to take all the braids off individually. If you make a hole, push the braid down and then bend the cable back over on itself. You'll be able to push that cable out and keeping all the braids together. Oh, there she goes. Give it a little tug. Now, as always, you want to keep that braid nice and tight. A nice little weave on it. Once I've done this, I always like to push 
get if you grab the outer sheath and you just start gently pushing it forwards, it will actually go up the cable itself and that'll cover up any kind of loose ends you've got down the bottom with the outer sheath. And then I'll get some earthen heat shrink. And always got ferrule with the end of your cables because these are multi strands. Do it right, kids. Because one, the first one I put up, they'd actually put the ferrules on, but they'd use the terminal screws down to clamp it and crimp the actual cable. That's not the way forward. And it also looked like King Kong had been doing it because he'd almost cut straight through the ferrule on the cable itself. There you go, and there's me pushing it up. And that will just hide anything. And it does make it look a hell of a lot neater. And then you don't use, well, the second one, they'd use duct tape. Heat shrink, always. The glue from the tape will always come undone. Yeah, it gets sticky, get nasty. That is a solid. And let's just cut it off, it ain't coming nowhere. So, cut it back. That I was always taught, and I do like it, making that your mains and your neutral, your phases and your neutral cables slightly shorter than your CPC or your earth. So if that cable did get tugged out, at least your CPC would be staying in there a tiny bit longer. Keep it safe, kids. And this crimping tool, 20 quid off Amazon, or you can get the Nipex one at 190 quid. What would you be? ferrules have always done them slightly longer so you've got that uh, braiding coming out of the top end and then just give them a little crop at the top ensuring that your ferrules are completely full and there we go another one made off so that's your two types there nice and clean no one can come back and slag your work off and the phantom engineer is still out there if you've been watching this you're alleged to prove